Some Central Texas companies are taking pretty drastic measures to attract and retain workers. Leaders in the manufacturing industry met this week to discuss their most significant challenges, and one big focus was on the talent shortage. KXN's Tahar Rahman reports on some creative solutions. Sights and sounds Elias Martinez hopes to hear more of in his future. I'm retired military now, and now that I'm out, uh, I realize that I need to go after my education and credentials. He chose manufacturing because it's a booming local industry, and Austin Community College's program because of its job pipeline to local companies. They try to get a good pool out of ACC. ACC trains dozens of students on machines like this to be trained and placed in the manufacturing industry. But a lot of these companies say it's still not enough. They need more workers. Employees have a choice and we want to be their preferred choice. Applied Materials makes machines that make computer chips for companies like Samsung. They're also competing with them for talent, so they're changing some job requirements. What are the actual education levels that we need for our jobs? And we're bringing digital tools to bear on some of our roles that allow for less skilled employees to do those jobs. Car Lane Manufacturing is even moving its plant in Austin to Elgin next year. It's getting increasingly challenging to find affordable living um, in the Travis County and Austin Regional metro area, and that's one of the reasons we're relocating. All promising for Martinez as he trades in his 22 years in the military for machines. Tahira Rahman, KXAN News. And another major problem manufacturing industry leaders discussed this week, supply chain issues. Applied Materials says demand is still higher than they can fulfill, and their backlog is getting bigger. Now, one way they are trying to combat that is by finding new suppliers like women-owned and minority-owned businesses. 